Like all objects in the earth, an aircraft has weight, the force of gravity, which acts through the center of the aircraft in a vertical direction towards the center of the earth. When an aircraft is on the ground, its weight is balanced by the reaction force of the ground on the aircraft. When the aircraft is up and flying, the weight of the aircraft is balanced by the lift force which is generated by the flow of air over the wings. When an aircraft moves through the air, it experiences an evil or a retarding force known as drag. This drag force will cause the aircraft to lose speed if not contracted properly. In a steady, straight and a level flight, the drag is balanced by the thrust produced by the engines. Aircraft accelerates when the thrust increases. Aircraft decelerates when the drag increases. Aircraft climbs up when the lift increases and the aircraft climbs down when the weight increases. In conditions when lift is exactly balanced by weight and thrust is exactly balanced by drag, the aircraft is said to be in a state of equilibrium. At this condition, the aircraft will neither accelerate nor decelerate. The aircraft will continue flying at the same velocity and at the same direction unless a pilot or a gust of wind changes the situation. Gravity is a downward force acting on all bodies vertically towards the center of the earth. This downward force is called as weight in aircrafts. The whole aircraft weight may be considered to act as a single force through the center of gravity. The position of CG depends on the weight and position of all the individual parts of the aircraft. The location of CG also depends on the weight and the location of the load placed in the aircraft. The CG will move if the location of the load changes. For example, the location of the load changes when passengers move inside an aircraft or when fuel is being transferred from one tank to another. The CG also changes when fuel is burned out by the engines and when parachutists jump out of an airplane or when the fuel is being jettisoned. The center of gravity of an aircraft is very important during flight because it affects the stability and performance of the aircraft. The CG must always remain within limits during all stages of flight. Lift is a force that keeps the aircraft suspended in the air. Lift is a force that opposes weight. Lift depends on the angle of attack and the air speed. Lift acts through the center of pressure and moves continually with the changes in the angle of attack. Lift is generated by the wings and wings are nothing but aerofoils. An aerofoil is a surface designed to lift, control and propel an aircraft with the help of the air flowing around it. The shape of an aerofoil is just the cross section of the wing. The most important part of an aircraft is an aerofoil. The wings, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer and the propeller blades are some of the well-known aerofoils. Control surfaces such as elevators, ailerons and rudder are part of aerofoils. Moving these control surfaces vary the shape and forces generated by the aerofoil. This enables a pilot to maneuver and control the aircraft. When an aircraft is airborne, all parts of an aircraft that are exposed to the airflow produces a positive as well as a negative aerodynamic force. The positive force is the lift force and the negative retarding force is nothing but drag. Drag acts in the opposite direction to the motion of the aircraft. Drag is the biggest enemy of a high speed flight. A streamlining of shapes, polishing the surfaces and flush riveting are few of the many design considerations in an attempt to reduce drag force. When the drag is low, the thrust needed also becomes slow. This in turn reduces the burden on the engine and thereby reducing the fuel consumed by the engines to produce thrust. Drag is also applicable for land moving vehicles like cars and buses. The more the drag, fuel consumption is also more. Automobile industries today are trying to shape their vehicles as streamlined as possible to reduce drag. Thrust is a force that either pulls or pushes the aircraft forward. Thrust is a force that opposes drag. Thrust is produced by the aircraft engines. Thrust acts through the propeller shaft or the center line of a jet engine. A piston engine needs a propeller to convert the power output of the engine into thrust. Power is generated by the piston engine and transmitted through a shaft to rotate the propeller. This turning effect of the propeller creates a pull or push force called thrust. 
In case of a jet engine, air is sucked inside the engine by a series of rotating fans called compressor. Air gets compressed and then sent into the combustion chamber. Fuel is injected at this level and combustion takes place. The combustion of this compressed air expands and creates a high pressure inside the combustion chamber which is then let out through the turbines and the exhaust nozzle at a very high velocity. This high velocity of exhaust gases that exits the engine pushes the engine forward as per Newton's third law which states for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours.